All right, YouTube, what's up? Um, I'm back. Been going to the beach for a little while for this weekend. Um, I'm back. As you can see, I'm going to show you. I got the blower out doing a few things. Uh, I almost forgot again. I ain't drinking this time. Um, but I almost forgot to bring the camera out here and do this shit. But here's where I'm at right now. I'm putting this little adapter plate on that the that the intercooler goes to or bolts to and what i just done not too long ago is i snapped the damn bit right off in there uh first time i've done that i don't know if it was already cracked or something or what but i damn sure snapped that shit off uh, i'm using some red loctite on this on all these Specifically, these are for engines, and to be honest with you, I have been using blue, and I didn't realize that there was a difference. Let's see if I can. All right, now it's smooth, and that's the one I did. <laughs> that's the one I fucked up for sure. Anyway, it's bolted down, as you see. I am losing some space right here. Uh, they didn't cut it all the way. But, you know, that's how they designed it, so I'm sure it's going to work fine. And that's probably why I took something for that to, to mount on. But I think they're happy we're home. Um, so far, the kit's going together pretty well. Seems to be put together pretty well. Oh, my God. Y'all see what I just did? I just put this damn thing on backwards. I only realized it because I looked at the fucking, I looked at the instructions and I was like, uh oh. Well, anywho. We'll fix it. Right there. about I mean it's all I can do right now uh, because for one I have to slot these holes in order to line up on a lower intake manifold and I do not have a file um, and I still got to get this one bolt you know I can't find it I looked in there and couldn't find it but in the meantime I am gonna try to pull this broke shit out and that's gonna conclude this video All right, what's up, YouTube? We're back. A um, couple days later, I just got this one installed. I went and got some more. Um, they're slightly longer, but we're going to see if they work. I think they will because it's just going to be up in here. So I don't think there will be an issue with it being slightly longer. Went to Lowe's and got them. They were like $1.07 for two, and they're stainless steel. I think most all your parts in this kit are stainless steel, which is awesome. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and put this one on uh, as well. But the good news is, is it doesn't look like it's going to enter. To which it does not. That is freaking great. So that lets you know if you ever need replacement parts, you can go to Lowe's. For little shit like this, like your little stainless steel bolt. Uh, I am looking at the instructions. So far, they seem to be pretty good. 
one thing I didn't do is it, it suggests getting spark plugs, a colder heat range, which I am going to do. I just, when I went and got my shit, I forgot to get it. I went ahead and bought a file from Harbor Freight. It was three bucks. Got to have one to file the case uh, to fit the bolts on the lower manifold. I went and bought some new gaskets just because... Might as well, they went for 35 bucks at O'Reilly's. Um, so let's let's go ahead and progress since uh, that is fully mounted now. Now, here's where it's wanting us to drill or file. I'm going to file because ah, it just seems like a better idea than drilling to me. Um... So, the direction indicated to allow the hole to align with the tap tool on the torque tape manifold. Round file or a small deburring bit or sanding roll and a Dremel type tool air grinder. Okay. Alright. So, basically. We are gonna sand this hole right here. You got to sand this one, and this one, it appears. Um, man that is wow that was quick um okay so let's go ahead tell you what let's do this here, here is the manifold, Tortex lower manifold. Um, it's nice. I mean, it's it's some quality shit. This is gonna sit just like that. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to. Let's see. Make a mark right there. Make a mark on this one. That one. Here it's showing, well, it's just showing three. So those are the right ones. I'm gonna pull this back off. Set it right here. Set that lower intake in there. And we're gonna file some more of this. Middle right quick. 
bit. I'm going to flip it around. Gotta hit a little bit more on the uh, <clears throat> on here. This is kind of what you're gonna deal with. And I will come back when I'm done. All right, we're back. I got the holes uh, to spec. Um, all I'm really doing now is I'm about to clean this matting surface right here with some WD on a blower and a tight rag. Just kind of get it pretty. Um, it don't have any gasket or anything. It's got a little metal gasket that that seals it, which is awesome. But the WD-40 seems to be working pretty damn good. I spent. About 40 minutes probably. 45 minutes doing that. Said so I'm just cleaning the surface. Uh, I'm not going to get too much done today because I got another video I'm going to make. Uh, and y'all see it on something else I got, another little project. We'll see how that goes. This gasket, this is the gasket. Uh, the guy gave me this when I got the blower, actually. All right, we're back. <clears throat> I used the gasket. I had to file it a little bit. Um, matter of fact, <clears throat> if you're looking under the hood of the car, in order to get the factory gasket to work, I had to file this one down right here uh, in order for it to fit but as you see the blower is mounted to the lower intake we are going to unattach this because now we have to attach the coolant lines and if I'm not mistaken, these, a little brown bag, and I was right. These are our coolant lines. 